Like the rhythm of the sun well, I was wide awake until the dawn upon her face And the echoes of our song as it hummed along So stay with me, stay with me You are my missing pieces It's Maury time! Yes, it is. We're here yes. again. We so are glad. back for Maury. Good morning. If you are new to this channel, my name is Richard, and this is my handsome, winsome Johnny songwriting coach. <laughs> or P. Diddy, Piano Daddy. Piano Piano, Diddy. We've, got, we've got fantastic nicknames here. All thanks to our Thronelys, our supporters. Hello, hello. I'm just looking over at... Sir Richard. Chat? Sir Richard. That's right. That's why Bert at the beginning is in a throne chair. This is the Sir reference. There's lots of Easter eggs. You got to go try to find them all. Lots of Easter eggs. Oh, <clears throat> hello, Jack and Benjamin and Alan and Ruby and Dean and Stoney and Blanca. And there's so many people here. Cheryl, Ann, Jim, Chris, good morning, Seth, JF. Hello, hello. Oh, yeah, I'm on a little delay. I'm like, where are you seeing all these people? They're, I'm thinking... Sophia in the house? Chat. Sophia's in the house. Yes, good morning. <clears throat> so we have, as some of you may already know, we have uh, Filipino Fridays starting in April, which is, mm. we're just a week and a half away. And Johnny and I saw how long it's going to be until that day comes and we just couldn't wait that long <laughs> to uh to, to check out Very some more impatient. Maury. we've got lots of songs from uh morissette and Gigi, of course and so many other artists to get to so starting on friday what is that april no, we're almost in april already Thunder. oh it's so quick. time is just so quick uh, fifth by April 5th, starting at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, so the same start time as today, Filipino Fridays. Um, we probably won't have Morissette or Gigi there. I'm going to give you a heads up because we have so many other artists to get to, but that just means we have to make more time for them in between Filipino Fridays. That's all that means, so no Basically, we, stress there. We just there. have to do more videos. That's, That's all. We're trying. We're trying. Yeah. So today is our number one request from Morissette, Fly Like a Bird. That has been requested pretty much since day one uh and we just haven't got to it yet because there's so many to get to so that is our focus today and we may or may not listen to one more because we really suck at only doing one video we get excited <laughs> we'll we'll yes, see we how do. it unfolds here um but i You're i want encourageable wanna, i want to hear maury sing so johnny say your line yes indeed so <clears throat> all you lovely winsome handsome people out there please hit like and subscribe and ring that bell so you always know what we're up to next yes and of course check out the description below where you can click on a link to buy us a coffee and help support this page that's why we get up in the morning i actually i would listen to more side even if this page didn't exist but that's actually it's not true because i never would have discovered her but there's other stuff i'm supposed to say right <laughs> now so click on the links and go to those pages to learn how to sing and stuff man it was like a different <laughs> life before this channel and nice, i nice know <laughs> <laughs> and stuff yeah <laughs> we still speak the same way <clears throat> we have discovered so many amazing people all right mm -hmm. so let's bring it on so this song isn't easy if you're if you're unfamiliar with most of mariah's songs they, what uh, year is this? I, I'm actually not... I don't think I'm familiar with this one. Maybe I am. I don't know. Maybe I just am not familiar with the title. You definitely would have heard it. Hold on a second. So, fly like a bird. Oh, that's how it goes? <laughs> no. <laughs> it is definitely not. All right, so this is released 2006. I knew it was... It's like her eighth album or something like that. It was definitely okay later so it's when she was with island latter day and... mariah yes 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 but still there's always this expectation of 
crazy riffs, complicated ranges, things like that, that makes it, you know, kind of a signature sound. And I don't, I think this one had whistle. I don't remember. Obviously we know Morissette is capable, but she always does her own interpretations, her own little subtleties in there that makes it her mm. version anyway. So let's begin. Yes. Yeah, so and thanks for the coffee, Chris. Chris is one of our mainstays always here. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. This is the COVID era, must be. Yes. There's a place above No my heart and struggling Free from all the trust that sees and suffering Because I feel the unconditional love The one who cares enough for me To raise all my burdens and let me be free To fly like a bird, take to the sky I need you now, Lord, carry me high to It does, even though being released in 2006, it has like that throwback. What? It's got like that 70s groove, yeah. I like I that. Say, I was just going to say, is it the chord progression? Is Some of it's the sound, too. It has a little bit of that. Uh, part of it's the chord progression, part of it's the melody, part of it's the... I think it's mainly the, the feel of it, the groove. That drum yeah. has got like a little bit of like a... There's a lot of space. It's like kind of just thing. kind of like classic soul beat, a little bit of... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's singing this just effortlessly of course but it, even her tone it, it comes through it's just like it's that 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 head voice but it's not like an airy thing it's just kind of like this laid back i think that adds to the feel of the drums you just that that connection there mm -hmm. she, she's just sitting back and just kind of like just humming a mariah carey song <laughs> just just yeah. a nice little light little floating through all the melodies and everything <laughs> yeah yeah but just like that effortless float with it but um, but she chose a clear tone here. We know she can she can manipulate that at will. So this is like mm -hmm. that laid back intention that's here. So let's keep going. Yeah. Obviously, she's building into something. I want to point out one thing uh, before we keep going here. Her choice of going to head voice that I pointed out earlier is so strategic. This, this, this is just seasoned artists. They know how to story arc. Just even in, in, in not just with the, the lyric, even if you don't know English, you can hear like the pacing of things. Mm -hmm. Because she just knows like that first line of the chorus She's just like, and lean in a little bit more. It's just like there's that spike. There's just this constant feeling of evolution. And I'm a sucker for vocal evolution in the context of a song. Yeah. In any style. She could have sang that whole verse, all chest voice, no problem. But because she waited, when that came in on the chorus, it was just like, whoom, 
just like this mm-hmm. impact. So I just her choices are always fantastic. Oh, got you. And then she that that last da, 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 um that was really good <laughs> impression. Do it again. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, that part. I mean, that that was like, I mean, that's Mariah all the way, and it's like a really good singer can can like s- sing it like make it sound good. What am I trying to say? Like <laughs> make it sound good. good singers make like, it sound good. I concur. It, it almost sounds like improper singing. Like she's letting the air out first. It like oh, it I see like what a, you're Healthy technique and i mean it's not because she's in control totally like control. anybody else if you let the air go first that much like da, 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 like there's a, a burst of air before she like actually sings it can a be note. hard to like grab onto the note or and we know she didn't waste the air because then she just keeps lingering after just like just effortlessly because yeah. she's tiny but, too she's relatively petite her lungs aren't that big so we mm-hmm. know her strategic use of air is absolutely in control yeah yeah, she's really good. <laughs> All right, good I'm, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play it through. I won't stop it again because I know this is gonna okay. build here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ridiculous <laughs> she is unbelievable i mean it's the irony of the background singers higher higher <laughs> she just keeps going up <laughs> well yeah the song modulated three times she oh did it I, I wasn't even paying attention to that yeah no i wasn't even I, like i had to catch myself I'm like wait a minute this is higher it keeps because i was changing. just so <laughs> ingrained in what she was doing oh my goodness what was that pure chest moment i don't think i've heard her with that force of a tone, that high. Can you play before. it again? Yeah. Yeah, play it again. <laughs> Can I play more set <laughs> again? Was that the question? <laughs> Twist your arm. <laughs> What 
is that? That is a A5. Th yeah. I, that was like, the folds were still thick there. I mean, that was, it's such a great... Th that had chest in it, yeah. That yeah. Chest in it still, I mean, maybe man. it was like, if, if, if she was in the passaggio, meaning the transition between the registers, it would have been like by like... 10%. You know, it's just a slight thinning kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, and then the whistle tone had a little grit to it. And then at the end, she pronounces a word. Was it was it Jesus that she sings at the end? It's really difficult to pronounce words in whistle. Yeah. <laughs> like that's, <laughs> that's, that's what I thought really said, difficult. Like, oh my because goodness. remember with whistle register, the vocal folds are pulled tight and it's just a tiny bit of space of uh, in, in between, um, what's it called? Uh, the space between. Um. Wow, Richard. <laughs> We're live, baby. We're this live. Is, <laughs> this is a, a, a vocal coach knows knows this term. Uh, Richard the Grit Freak. What is that term? I don't know. Just make one up. I don't think anybody's going to know. <laughs> uh, the glottis, the space between the folds, that's that's allowing the air to be forced between them. So the folds aren't vibrating there, unlike the chest voice and head voice in falsetto that she demonstrated beautifully. When the folds are tight, the air is being pushed through exactly like we do with the lips. That's why we create that sound for those of you who didn't go through that spiel with me before. And whenever you manipulate space up here, typically, like you'll hear Mariah and and other whistle tone singers that uh, Dimash and the, I'm, I'm just going through some male singers too. I think even Sammy Hagar had some cool like whistle textures every once in a while. But mm. you typically hear just an open vowel. Ooh, ee, ah, you know, just kind of like it's like a static position and it's all manipulated here. When you close off the lips or the tongue moves up, that creates a downward force called back pressure and it makes it harder to control the pitch. So you rarely hear words being formed on whistle. It's It takes more skill. So you're not going to hear that very often. It's really complicated. Okay. She is so good in that, re I and mean, she's good in that every, every register, but, like, there's just, she gets up to that, like, C, D, E, and F5, it's just money, oh my goodness, and this, this, uh, this genre is just so good for her, mm -hmm. like, I mean, she, I don't know, I, I hate to, like, differentiate it from other genres, because she's, like, the best in every genre, Yeah, <laughs> but she's just, man, she so nails this. Uh, yeah, so I'm just kind of catching up to looking over to chat here really quick. Yes, uh, chat etiquette, please don't spam. Just, you know, throw your request once, maybe again, five minutes later kind of thing. But that way it's easier for us to find everybody. Uh, there, I do have another song, another video already queued because I knew I was going to listen to more, even if y'all didn't want to. Uh, but also it was requested early on just in comments and, and everything else, uh, which is more Maury, Maury, the best of my love and emotion. I figured we'd go with a little bit of Mariah Carey theme here. Let's um, keep yeah. So I, I do want to listen to more and obviously, uh, not epiglottis, Chris is asking. Not epiglottis is like the, the leaf like, it's almost like a, it's a mucosal covered cartilage that folds down when we swallow, that the epiglottis is there to protect um, foreign objects from getting into our lungs. Um, but the, the glottis, the space specifically, is what the word was. Uh, someone else, another question. Oh, someone asked about originals. She's got a ton of originals. We haven't done any, so shame on us for that. But I'm, I don't want to do that today. I want to do several of her originals. I, I'm thinking we can circle back and like just hit a bunch of those and really see her, mm -hmm. her storytelling through lyrics and her. I mean, we've seen her create melodies because we know she can modify uh, what someone else well, did. I mean, she's riffing all over the place, and and I can't imagine that all that is planned out beforehand. I mean, she's just doing it on the spot. She's just she's a walking melody. Yes. 
So, so we will circle back to that for sure. Just know that. And Bruno Mars Evolution, that's another melody uh, or um, uh, medley that we want to get back to. So we know, we know there's more. We're not going anywhere when it comes to more. We will continue to come back. Uh, someone also asked about there being, if this was pre-recorded in what we just listened to. I'm guessing that that's what you're asking. So I would say yes in that scenario. She would have been in front of a microphone and recorded it. I'm still sure in one or two takes kind of thing. And then it's probably lip sunk is, is what we heard back. But it's still authentically her. We've heard her too many times live to to suggest anything outside of that. So Yeah. It certainly right. didn't it didn't sound auto tuned or anything like that or melodyne. No. No. You she know. can she can flow with it. Especially I mean, she's, when she's right at yeah. Go Especially ahead. when you're not in a live setting, when you've got people to interact with, you're moving around. I mean, that that's going to influence your your breathing, body tensions, and and show up in your voice maybe a little bit more. But in a studio setting where she can control the environment, she's just going to ace it. Mm -hmm. So, all right, let's check this out. So, I don't know if this is if she just rolls in one into the other. Says best of my love and emotion. So. I'm not sure. Let's find out. Okay. What an entrance. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Oh my, <laughs> where did that come from? <clears throat> Do that one more time, or five more times. Not supposed to blend those two things. <laughs> it's just going from chest voice, to head voice, and falsetto in in an oh. eighth of a second, sliding up and then into fall in, into whistle, giving the illusion as if it's connected. It's not. It can't be. It's produced two different ways, but it's so effing seamless. It sounds like it just slid off the record. Mm. That okay, was keep nuts. Going. Key, oh remember falsetto the folds are stretched and vibrating whistle the folds have to completely stop they're, they're all of a sudden they switch to zero cycles per second after being so i mean she's what? up at she's up at least like uh uh, uh 1720 cycles per second right here and then slips has to stop vibrating on a dime isn't a, a, a fraction of a dime <laughs> To give that seamless illusion. I've never Nickel? heard it connected that smooth before. <laughs> Lord.
that chest voice tone. Oof. Nice little rip. How does so much sound come out of such a little person? <laughs> She's just so tiny and petite. It just, I, it's I just, mean, just humongous. The, the technique is just amazing. Wait a minute, did, was that two songs or one? That was two songs. The first one wasn't a Mariah song, I don't think. Oh no. The first one was best of my best of my love. Oh, that's that an was, older song. Yeah, that that's was from the seventies, and it goes into Mariah. That's right. That's right. I was like, wait a minute, I got confused there just a little bit. Um, play the end here, sorry. Thank you. Come time me die. And I, as we say in our country, maraming salamat po. Thank you, everybody. Have a great evening. Thank you. The, the sound is so funny because it's cutting out most of the audience and it sounds like there's like 10 people there. But oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's interesting because we've, I have to say this, even though we say this every time we hear her whistle, she doesn't even need to. It's it's not a necessary thing to do. It's a great show off thing, um, especially when it's executed that well. But she has so many other qualities in her delivery, and her tone, and her enunciation, and her storytelling. It's like that's just <clears throat> unnecessary icing on the cake, and yet. I want more, <laughs> right? I want more. Yes. <laughs> it, it's not. It's not a complaint. I'm not saying she shouldn't do it, but I'm just saying it's, she doesn't even need it. And it's just like it's, it, it, you know, it always gets yeah. a reaction. But yeah, I mean, we've talked about that plenty of times. It's just she doesn't need the acrobatic stuff at all because her tone is so good. It's yes. just so enticing. It's so buttery. <clears throat> it's so and and she can mold it to whatever style she needs. I mean, in this in this capacity, it's it's you know, it's that sort of soulful. A little pushed, a little breathy, a little bluesy. I mean, and it's just it's perfect for what the the genre and the song needs. But then she can do an like an opera song. She could do Broadway. You know, it's like it, 
whatever and she needs to do, she does it. that's probably my favorite because that only because that resonates just with my personal taste. Like I'll, I'll take the Broadway over the pop. I mean, I'm in awe of what she does with pop, but it's just it's more it's just a personal taste thing. But I yeah. can still recognize the execution, obviously, in any style that she she takes on. So she just found uh, Phoenix wrote that uh, she just won People's Choice Award at Billboard's uh, um, Philippines just March twenty second. Oh, it's just days ago. Good for her. That's fantastic. Mm. Good, 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 good. All right, Johnny. I, I have time for one more. I got time. Imagine if we stopped her for the first song. How <laughs> like unfulfilling of a session would that be of a live stream? Not with a live stream. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What do we take on here? I'm seeing some suggestions. I'm scrolling back. You know, I was going to do a Mariah Carey theme, but so let's see, she performed Secret Love Song, well, but then one Mariah Carey, with a Mariah Carey medley. Is, I want to know what love is, that's Mariah, isn't it? Uh, it's originally Foreigner. I want to know what love is. That was definitely yeah. Foreigner, yeah. Did Mariah do a version of that? Did she? Yeah. I Foreigner I think fe she featuring, did. uh. Rochester's own Lou Grant. That's where I'm from. That's where Richard's from. He doesn't live here anymore because he left me. But you Rich left from. me first. <laughs> you moved I... several miles away from our small town. <laughs> yeah, and then you moved several hundred miles away. So. Well, I felt rejected. It was, ah. it was, it was a natural ah. response. I'm sorry I had for to, wounding you. I had to punish you. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, there's some really good suggestions coming in. And and we can't, I mean, I know we can't go wrong. You know what I'm going to do? Very well said, Chris. A normal reaction live stream is nine minutes. People don't come here because they want something normal. <laughs> you said it all. <laughs> that is, that's we don't do normal. We, we don't, don't do, do normal. normal. We are not right. normal. I... Deeper than I ever do Oh, so Mariah did do I Want to Know What Love Is. Or is it a different okay. song? I don't know. I'm, I'm guessing it's a different song. So I'm seeing like an it's... I'm seeing like an old one. Is this the one you guys are talking about? Let me pull it up. This uh This one right here, just look right. In my life. Oh, she said don't uh she did a um Don't You Worry About a Thing as well. That's a great song. Oh. Don't you? Yeah, we're not it's we're not season, doing all these songs wonder. right now though, <laughs> but these are good to know of. And yes, J I think it was Jim that commented on my mug. I don't have my Shirley Jones mug I today. Don't, I don't either. It's dirty. It's dirty. Yeah, I think I <laughs> I don't know how many days in a row I used that <laughs> thing. I had to wash it. All right, let's do this. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. This is a while ago. When was this? This was posted four years ago, but I'm thinking it's older than that. I gotta take a little time A little time So delicate. Mm. 
I mean, I love Lou Graham. He's great. Well, <clears throat> and the songwriting and everything that they did with this song was fantastic. I, I'm a sucker for this. This is a little bit slower. It's just super delicate. It just mm-hmm. has all these. I mean, she's she's morifying it. I think believe that's the term that we've used. And I don't know how much of this is borrowed term. from Mariah's because she did a version as well. So maybe that might yeah. be co-inspired. Uh, I, I'm not sure. I mean, totally Great different choices. take on the song. I love I love both versions. Um, it's it's so cool when you when you do like a gentler version like she's doing. It kind of brings out more of like the the beauty in it. You know, yeah. Like when it's, it adds to the lyrics and everything, and and, and again, it's definitely not taken away from Foreigner because I, I like, like I mean, I like rock music as a whole. So like yeah. that vibe I like more. But I, I just hearing it from a different perspective is just captivating, and it adds weight to the to the lyrics. I think. Yeah. You oh man. A little time, a little time, a little time to the hey guys, real quick, um, chat etiquette. Please don't ask for the same thing over and over again because it will be ignored because it's just we want to see multiple people ask for the same thing then we consider but if it's the same one over and over again it's just we we're just going to dismiss it okay yeah thanks guys behave out there behave a little time to the i've got no one left to Like love has finally found me. Oh, was that long but it's almost like she's she didn't pull the mic away she's like fading it the 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 control she has over the whistle is oh maury i'm so sorry i don't mean to pause it right there (laughs) (laughs) i was gonna say she looks really cute in this one (laughs) my my apologies my apologies uh just the the longevity of her whistle because whistle doesn't take that much air i mean it's easy to overspend but the manipulation we saw in the previous song with pronouncing words, the vowels, the back pressure, and then to just kind of have like this little, just to fade it just a little bit, a, a decrescendo is just, the, the nuance, the subtleties is just un... Yeah, I love it. I love it when she sings in the lower register too. So this... Uh... So that would be um, a... So she's getting down to G flat three. Right. There's just, it's so interesting for her to do that because like, she just has this like serious, like a little bit darker of a tone. And like, there's just this poise, you know, like, yes. which is so in contrast in, like contrasting her personality, yes. which is so bubbly and so light. And it's like, she's got that look in her eyes and, you know, like, just, <laughs> And where was she going in the whistle? I don't know what we heard up to today, but oh jeez, so we know she went full belt to what was it? Was it the end here? So it's um, 
Oh, what? Well, yeah, they did. Uh, in in the other song, yeah, but right. Um, I'm not sure of like, her highest one in this one. I mean, me. I think she's at the, the the B flat here. Probably, yeah. That's, so, that's which which you can't actually song. see on this view. Hold on. <laughs> We have to put the Dimash cam on. <laughs> so a little, a little bit more. So I was up here. Yeah. So, I mean, that that's such a, just a, a vast range to, to paint a picture with vocally. It's just crazy. Mm. All right, let me, I want to hear that end again. Just the, the subtleties that she did here is wild. <laughs> Seven? She hits like a little uh, E flat for a second too, yeah. And then faded yeah. back on that. Yeah, so that was... Go ahead. She just nails those little Mariah inflections better than anybody I've ever heard. Plus, she's got this whole other thing that she does outside of it, too. So you're saying that she went to just a, a hint of the, the D sharp there? The e, yeah, yep. Yeah. I mean... Again, super impressive, but it's not the range of notes that makes something incredible. It is what you do with them. <laughs> I mean, low notes are great, high notes are great, whistles impressive, all those things are super cool, but it's that. Yeah, it's the I could, choices, I could, the abilities yeah. in between is insane. Yeah, and her tone is just. I I could literally listen to her sing three notes, <laughs> just over and over and over again with her tone, mm -hmm. and I would be completely satisfied. Ah, uh, guys, I've got a lot to get to today. I see so many quests. We have so much more to explore with her. I think I feel like the next obvious thing we should do is uh, her originals. I think that would be like a really great one to take on. Mm -hmm. um, that being said, I think it's only fair that we watch the most requested of Mori that we haven't done yet. So one more. <laughs> oh, I thought we were ending it. No! I was like, this is sad. The people that just left in the last 10 seconds, you're missing out because we're doing one more. <laughs> Bruno Mars Medley. This has been recommended from the beginning. So not just today. It's been a long time coming. So like we're here. We got 500 people watching. I say we do it. Let's check it out. So one more. Let's do it. I don't. I think I only know like one or two Bruno Mars songs, to be honest. It's not. Really? I mean, I'm sure I've heard them around or covers. I mean, students have sang them. I guess I do know more. It's yeah. not what I listen to typically, so I just, I'm not that familiar with it. I mean, I know we're in a bubble, but that's that's a really thick bubble. It's, it's a thick, it's a very specific bubble. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, three days ago, we just discovered Lara Fabian for the first time. We didn't know she existed. <laughs> so. Yeah, everybody's like, what's wrong with you guys that you had, don't know? I, I don't know. That one. The comments were like, we're disappointed. I'm like, well, we didn't know. <laughs> yes. That's why we love this channel. By the way, thank you for the coffees. Very much. Much appreciated. Mm. When I see your face. All right, I know the song. There's not a thing that I would change. Because you're a That's cool. Beautiful girls all over the world. She's always got a great band, too. Oh, yeah. time would be wasted. They got nothing on your baby. Nothing on your baby. Whoa. Oh, every time I close my 
Different song. Yep. Alright, I know two songs. Good. Ooh. Nice choice. Singing the main Tell part, you might have heard right now, Tell me right now, baby, baby. Oh, it's a beautiful night. I'm looking for something dumb to do. Hey, baby, I think I want to marry you. With hopes you're on the other side. Talking to me. Talking to Moon, I know. Was that that other part was part of this song as well? No, the other one was Mar "Marry You." That's a different okay. song. So, so she's basically doing like know. 10, 15 seconds. I know. It's like I can't stop because it's just like run another song, run another song. I. You know what's crazy about this, man? There, there's not a hint of Mariah tone in this in any of these songs. Like she just. Yes. Like it's just like I right, did that. That's for that. <laughs> She adapts to the song, but she doesn't sound like Bruno either. No. <laughs> Obviously. But she's putting in all these little moments. She has my favorite cry. I think of all the singers I've heard. And I'm going to regret yeah. saying that out loud because I'll be like, oh, that one's actually really good too. But not even necessarily when she does a whistle, because that's even like more of like a, that, that squeak is like even has more of an energy. But even here in this, just like it's it's got such great texture that doesn't feel like it's it's just put on for the sake of being put on it's just she knows where to place it it always feels natural and always exciting every time it's not overdone it's super well placed mm. yeah she just got it all well yeah well and that's part of the problem with some artists that have it all is they they can riff everywhere they can whistle they can do great vibrato they can do different tone and some singers don't know where to place it. They just, because they can do it, they do it. It's like a guitarist mm -hmm. that just shreds during the verse while someone's trying to sing. Like, dude, <laughs> like let, let the yeah. other person have a moment, right? Yeah. She knows where to, to decorate the song and which skill set, which tool to decorate it with. And her, her instincts are just spot on, in, in my yeah. opinion. I know that's subjective, but... It's Discretion right. is a, a skill <laughs> set for sure. Discretion and choices. Right? I don't think so. 
<laughs> if I heard it was like, didn't he do something like during the Super Bowl? He did a medley a few years back or something. Did, did, yeah, did he, have one? he did a few of them. Yeah. So I, I might have like heard it then, but I don't know the song. God, even when she goes up to that, that, uh, uh, I don't know, a couple songs back there going so quick. Uh, she goes up to that F5. And, yeah. and you think that that could be like, okay, this is like her default tone that she does. <laughs> yeah, it's like this This is like, she she always goes to this tone and like she'll she'll sound a certain way. She sounded completely different in that sweet spot with the Mariah mm -hmm. Carey stuff. It's, yeah, man, she just does whatever she wants to do. <laughs> what? I glanced over at the chat. What is happening? <laughs> Just crying has its own fan club. I'm definitely missing out on a conversation over here <laughs> to one side. <laughs> there was, they it's love all it feel, when you cry. It's, it's mostly feel good music today, so I'm feeling like uh, I'm able yeah. to keep things in check. <laughs> but I, yeah, I backed it up again. I think we'll hear that at five again. I, I agree that tone is just. Yeah. Yeah, it's different. Now this song. Another shout out to the band. I mean, they're so, I mean, the time changes, the, the transitions that in the yeah. rhythm section, the bass player and drummer are just so locked in. It's insane. There's such intricate stuff going on. And the fact that they have to, I mean, they're changing songs every 10 seconds. And you have to, it's, it's a completely different chord arrangement, it's a different feel. And they're doing like outside of that. I mean, they're doing their own arrangements. I mean, they have to connect the songs yeah in their own you, you know they have to make those arrangements themselves and within the songs they're doing their own arrangements they're doing like different chord changes and stuff um and shout out to her ear for being able to pick that up because like some of those indicate like they can't they can't frame every song like okay we're in f now and we're in <laughs> you know B they flat can't now. anticipate so, for her right like that. yeah they're just doing like boom, 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 boom. you know then, then she knows exactly where she's got to be and some of it a yeah. lot of those changes aren't obvious at all so she's she's got a great and it's, ear and it's so much easier i'm not taking away from the musicianship obviously with from 
the bass player, the guitarist, the pianist. But when you have visual feedback, like just with the piano, it's if you're in C, you know where the the A is going to be, right? So I can see it. There's my thumb is right there. So I can, I can before I even play it, I can mm -hmm. guarantee, assuming my keyboard isn't broken suddenly, that's going to be an A. So you mm -hmm. have visual feedback, you have tactile feedback, meaning you can feel it with your fingers. You don't have that as a singer. You can't see the larynx like, okay, let's move it by one quarter of a millimeter and then we'll get that A. You can't see and you can't feel the intrinsic muscles of the larynx either. So just reinforcing what you're saying about the ear, it's not just being able to hear it, the anticipation and the muscle control to execute it with a blind instrument. Yeah. Always Question. impressive. What is the glottis doing there? Just so you don't, never forget that word again. What is the glottis? The glottis, glottis. is the space between the vocal folds. That's okay. what we were referring what, to earlier. What's what's it doing at that point? Anything? Oh, well, she looks... <laughs> <laughs> I can't, what is she doing here? It is open. That was an inhale. So the glottis, there's space between the folds and she's bringing air in. <laughs> Was that a there question that actually came in, or is that you just messing with me? I was just messing with you. <laughs> Thanks. I'm sure everybody enjoyed that. <laughs> ah. Oh. Imagine the feeling to be able to sing whatever you want, whenever you want, just make whatever <laughs> genre work. Oh, after how many years of, I mean, there's just so many thousands of hours behind that type of just skill sets. It's not just having a good brain and an ear and a magic larynx, right? There's nothing magical here. It's just... The wiring, the connection, the, the intuition is just where everything is absolutely insane. There's got to be a little magic. So I see, you know, there's more people here, Johnny. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, one more. No more requests. I'm calling it. We're, we're cutting off from requests. This is the absolute last song. Um... And I see this one is probably the number one coming in. As far as as far as originals go, I'm definitely not going to do an original today because that opens up Pandora's box in a beautiful way. And we want it, we're gonna do a whole dedicated segment to her originals. And we should probably do that next, honestly, because we just haven't looked at them before. And again, God, you know we, what else we I should do? be. I wonder if there's a video of like, kind of like uh, when we did the Gabriel Enrique the other day, like the evolution of when she's young to where she is now. Just there's got to be something out there like oh, that because yes. that would be really interesting. Oh, I like to see that idea her. too. I will now we have two specials to organize, so we need. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys need... know if there's a video like that where there's there's did you someone know... put yeah put something together already for that? That would be great. And is this the right, so this is Stone Cold. Is, do I have the right video? 
I'm pro there's probably more than one. I'm only gonna do one. This is the last one. No more requests. I, I have things I do have to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there is. All right, cool. This is the right one. Um. Oh, I don't know. I think no. I think they're referring to the the evolution video. When oh, younger. okay. Good. 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 So yes, yeah, so they're the saying local there's journey. videos to that one. I want to make sure I've got the right one. Yes, that's it. They're saying okay. All right, last one for today. I love you all. I love Maury. I want to do more, but I <laughs> I have to get to other things. Absence makes the heart grow fonder, people. That's right, you know. and we will be back. We will be back. All right, here it is. We're closing out with this one. This is Demi, right? Demi Lovato. Cold. You see me standing, but I'm dying on the floor. Stone, cold, stone, cold. Maybe if I don't cry, I won't feel any more. Stone, cold, mm. baby. God knows I tried to feel. This is what's mm. amazing to me as a vocalist that, that may not be obvious, but when you're singing something like this that has just that th those cries, a little bit of tension built into the tone, and then to riff after that in the next breath, you have to go from a tension-based, the, the muscles in the larynx are, are closing off the space a little bit and squeezing on literally the outside of the larynx, and then to be relaxed enough yet to do very clear, distinct riffs. That combination is so incredible. It's such a delicate balance. So listen to the tone and mm. then the riff right after. But now she's your shade of gold stone. Cold, baby. God knows I try to be. It's so hard to do with that. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Just totally changing over to that softer.
Oh. Wow. That was a great one to end on. <laughs> oh my goodness. Just let it go, man. Just let it flow. No. No, I gotcha. I gotcha. <laughs> Be strong. Stay strong. Oh. Just drinking my coffee. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. I mean, I've never heard that song or... You know, you, you haven't heard that one before. I mean, no, Demi, the... Demi's great. De I, Demi's I mean, awesome. Yeah, yeah, range everything else. And I haven't heard Demi Lovato's sing this one live. I'm sure she's very emotionally connected. She's emotionally connected type singer as well. Mm -hmm. This is more emotional. This particular delivery, just like these little cries and just like the the tremolos, all these little the imperfections that make it perfect kind of thing on, on the emotional level. Mm -hmm. But still, while being completely in control, um, so well done. I'm, I'm sure Demi's got a great version of this as well. But this, I mean, I just Maury's tone just melts me. Yeah, I, 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 I would take Maury's tone. I think any day of the week, you know, mm. just she's just got that man. Like she gets under that register. Those, you know, like we talked about before, the C to F five, and it's just so. It's like a blanket of wonderfulness just you can just wrap around Blanket yourself of wonderfulness uh, uh it's just all encompassing it's like it is it she, is she almost has her own resonant chamber that you know i mean obviously there's you know she's singing through mics so there's effects and stuff there's but it's like i Doesn't mean matter. i feel like we've seen her sing in like the driest environment like acoustic environment where there's the there, wish there bus isn't that. at home that yeah and everywhere. and it's still there's just this like this cave of wonders <laughs> in her voice. <laughs> I think you used that phrase before. Did I really? Her. <laughs> yeah. Uh, from Aladdin. It's a cave of wonders. And it's <laughs> like, oh man. It's just, it just enters me. It's like, it's crazy. Amazing. All right, guys. I have things to do on my list for purposes as a human i got nothing and, i'll stay on and and a father and yeah you don't johnny you don't have kids you have less responsibilities no. than i let's do three more hours everybody <laughs> well we will do much more than three hours for for maury um so we're coming back we're going to come back to there's a list of other covers she's done of course i think the evolution of maury if you guys can hook us up with that describe like what to type in if, i don't think in comments you can actually put links in direct if you can great if not Go ahead and just tell us what, what to look up specifically. And we're going to look at her originals. I think looking at just a bulk of her originals sung live. I think she's got some music videos, mm -hmm. things like that. We need to carve out some time for that. And yeah. please join us for Filipino Fridays. It starts not this Friday, but the next one. The goal is, well, we're not actually going to go this long, probably. Maybe. But we're going to do three artists on Filipino Friday. It's not going to be one. I will not be Maury. It will not be Gigi. I'm telling you that up front because we're dedicating separate time uh, for those artists anyway because they're already yeah. kind of part of our rotation. Um, but we have we have a, a list of, of amazing singers uh, that we're going to uh, address. So we're going to do three different songs, three, three different artists every Friday and see if we can visit more and discover more in the magical world that is the Philippines that Johnny and I seriously need to visit in person at some point in time. Yeah. So seeing that every, every person there is an amazing singer. So <laughs> literally everyone, <laughs> everyone, every single one of them. Uh, thank you again. We love you all. Thanks for hanging out with us. Have an amazing night. Have an amazing week. Uh, we will be here Wednesday for what are we doing? One okay rock. Uh, okay. We're going to be doing our reaction Wednesdays, spending 90 minutes checking out their music. They are a great band if you're not familiar with them already. Awesome. And Dimash on Thursday. And we have uh, already recorded the video that's coming out on Saturday. Don't miss it. It's going to be awesome. Have a great week, everyone. I can't Bye. Thanks, guys. You are my missing pieces. Oh, I 
Bye, everyone.